Afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing. Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Land on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. I imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, but... We're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We've arrived. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change him? It might give him some comfort. Is that something we can agree on? Hey! Is somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Someone inside. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? Good luck with that, pal. Is anyone here? Hello?
out of this place. Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Just keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. On this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Thompson. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded men and not railed against the Sodom beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accept the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If... Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below? Newly come to Columbia to be watered clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord? I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Let's end with this. <laughs> hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the deck! What do you want? We had a deal to it. Open this door right now. I told you. I'm not gonna do it. Go away! Mr. DeWitt! Mr. DeWitt! priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. To Father Franklin, a key of gold so that Eden might have industry that said... Our prophet fills our lungs with water so they may better love the air.
He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Paragon of virtue, Watch over a me rebel against me. By the sword and, and the scroll. scroll. And the key. key. There's no chance Amen. for luck. Well, just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. So got a girl to find. not matter to a Liberty Scout. There's no room for peace. Saul Stahl's all right, I tell you. Says he's for family, family and fatherland. Who could be against all that? Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh-huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary has arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh-huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired. That, that the work had taken much from him. I said, good God, man. Don't tell me about details. Just get it done. Mm-hmm. You almost finished down there? Yes, sir. And then, the Archangel showed a vision. A city, lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, Archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, Prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? Latin. It means... Latin.
luck at the raffle, folks. Columbia Raffle and Fair. We're raising money for the Girls' Patriotic League. Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. Said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Tess.
Well, good day to you, sir. Hello. Hello there, friend. You gonna let me through here, pal? Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to kingdom come. Again. Roadblock. Better find another way around. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked. bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell you. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the All of them of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. Young and sir, you young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Find the devil, good sir, and cast him out. Do you have what it takes? <laughs>
yet? Oh my. I have. Liar. Honest. We <laughs> blew the windows out of my house. The advances in science and wonder we've seen. Hot dogs! Hot dogs! Alexander Hot Dogs! Columbia's finest! Worth every cent! Boxophone! Boxophone! Hear your voice from the past in the present! Say something, Sonny! What's a boxophone? What's a boxophone? Exactly that! A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Have you sampled any of the new vehicles here today? Well, I usually wait till the thing works out the kinks with them. It's safe. Ancient Mariner! Let's have a big old Your part for Columbia? Show your skill by hunting down Daisy Fitzroy and the vile members of the Vox Populi. Shoot the targets, earn the points, win yeah. the prize. Well, here's a brave fellow. Now, shoot the Vox when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. <laughs> shall be richly rewarded. Calling all skilled marksmen, the box popular resolutes. Who can bring it? Demonstrate your bravery. Shoot the target. Hey, the point of the Is he man? Is he machine? Only Colombian ingenuity could create such an amazing marvel! <laughs> Step right up and see the eighth wonder of the world! He's big! He's bold! He's the amazing handyman! Only in our fair city will you see such amazing... Have you ever seen anything? He looks so sad. Sad? When you're that strong, what's it to be sad Have about? you ever lost a penny to a vending machine? Has a paytime ever refused to connect you with a beloved spouse? It's just a whisper. They're all ears. Don't mean me. Well, if it isn't Assemblyman Buford, your spot at the raffle awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. 
heads. I told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Just fine to me. Mary, you are a living, walking scandal. Division got them. If we're gonna flush the Vox out of the Skyline system, uh, we gotta have the best. Well, they got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some Vox skull. <laughs> your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. This street is closed. Yes, we get to the ramp. Officially begun! Hey, mister! Mister! Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. 
That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is number 77! Well, what do you know? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First round! Taking your coffee black these days. <laughs> oh, looks like we've got a shy one here. Son of a bitch. Wait! It's him! Now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! Stop him! Stop him! The bulls you are going to lead on the Come on now! Told you, Comstock. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who lease us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose. Possession now turns machine and man into allies. Hold and release to create a ghostly trap.
It's getting hot. What's going on? No sample.
Why are you following me? We were already here. Why are you following us? I... Aperitif. between life and death. Surprising. Surprising that it worked. Surprising that it didn't kill him. But a magnetic repulsive field around one's body can come in handy. If it doesn't kill you. A fair point. Father Comstock called on me today to write his biograph. Me. 
The man pays for exactly 100 pages in advance. Now, I'm half a Jew when I smell silver, so I say, I say, Father, your flock would pay for a thousand. You know, why settle for less? And then the prophet looks to me and says, 100 will suffice, as I know how it ends. must be magnetized.
not like the rest. I'm a progressive. works up at the lodge part-time. He took this box from one of their secret ceremonies. And I know for sure, there is something dear inside. Problem is, Otis is more fool than not. He didn't bother to also secure a key from the Feathered Brothers to open the damn thing. Violence is not a foregone conclusion. Ah! Oh! Tim, the one they're after. Go. They're looking for you. Police! We're in need of your assistance! They're here! Shh! Keep your voice down. All right, let's move on.
I came by the wagon at dawn. Man was just, he's just transfixed by my trophy scalps. Asked about the white ones there. I said, well, sir, if your quarry dwells in the jungle and beds down with the local color, why split hairs? <laughs> Not a chuckle out of him. Either he ain't seen a man go native or maybe, maybe too many. Anyhow, now he's got me hunting down this Daisy Fitzroy. Hope we don't expect me to stuff and mount her. <laughs>
Columbia gave onto the founders the tools to build a new Eden. They did so without hesitation. For 85 years, they prepared the way of the Lord. But when the great apostate came, he brought war with him. And the fields of Eden were soaked with the blood of brothers. The only emancipation he had to offer was death. Doctor ordered.
after one o'clock this afternoon, the scoundrel, believed now by many to be Fox Populi, began his terrible rampage. Trouble began almost instantly. Full of wrath and bent on harm, the anarchist maliciously wounded several Colombian peacemakers, before then arming himself and firing into an assemblage of virtuous fair-goers. As of this hour, he is considered wholly responsible for God...
from that station. What about his...
say that Monument Island is off limits. You've got to go. Workmen should proceed to the island by means of the skyline. Skylights, huh? Those things them coppers came riding in on back by the lottery. That line heads to Monument Island. Shot. Whoa! And the Lord saw the wickedness of man was great, and he repented he had made man on the earth. Rain! Forty days and forty nights of the stuff, and he left not a thing that walked alive. You see, my friends, even God is entitled to a do-over. And what is Columbia if not another ark? For another time. Skyline up above. Somehow I get some elevation, I could probably reach it.
skyline to Monument Island. I know why you have come, false shepherd. I see every sin that blackens your soul. Wounded knee, the Pinkertons, the drink, the gambler, and of course, Anna. And now, to repay a debt, you've come from my land. But not all debts can be repaid, Booker. You don't know me, pal. Prophecy is my business, Mr. DeWitt. As blood is yours. You know why these men will die for me? Because I've seen their future in the glory. And hence they are content. What brought you to Columbia, Booker? Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt? This will end in blood, But then again, it always does with you, doesn't it? You've come to lead my lamb astray, but thy crook is bent and thy path is twisted. twisted. Go back to the Sodom from which you came! Go back! Holy shit. to take this thing to Monument Island.
I guess even in a restricted area, these crackers need someone to clean the floors. <laughs> Those politicians and scientists don't bother about what they say around me because I'm some half-leaded colored boy. But I can tell they scared out of their wits by that thing they got locked upstairs. Yes, sir. They got a tiger by the tail, and they don't know whether to hang on or run. Mr. Thompson, sir, I, I replaced the entire fuse banker's ass, and the lights were all in working order last night. Last night? There they go again. We go through boxes of fuses every day as of late, and they're just in the siphon alone. I don't... Oh! Oh, something's happening! What? Ah! Ah! Watching her. 
is one thing to imagine one's future, and another to see it. I have seen the seeds of fire that will prepare the Sodom below for the coming of the Lord. But Elizabeth shall sow those seeds, not I. I will fall before the job is done. But she shall take up my mantle. The Lord is calling me home. I feel his love in every tumor. Because they are the train which takes me to his station. And I go with joy, knowing that Elizabeth will take my earthly place. But the false shepherd is coming to lead my lamb astray. I will not board that train until she is safe from his deceptions. different. I suspect it has less to do with what she is, and rather more with what she is not. A small part of her remains from where she came. 
It would seem the universe does not like its peas mixed with its porridge. My name is DeWitt. I'm a friend. I come to get you out get of here. Get away! Are you real? I'm real enough. He's coming. You, you've gotta go. Why? You don't want to be here when he gets here. Just a minute, I'm getting dressed. I'll get you out of here. There's no way out. Trust me, I've looked. Stop it, you're, you're too impatient. That's enough. What about this? What about it? This is the way out, isn't it? What are you... Give it to me. 